Hello everyone and welcome back to Next Space Rebels, where I think we're going to make our first attempt to make orbit this time. If we take a look at our challenges, we've got the space drop thing and then this prove yourself which is making orbit. Uh, so I think we'll do the space drop thing to get the largest amount of complexity and then move on to try and do orbit. So that's my idea, but let's first check out what this food wrap per person wants. Um, Still using the profile picture. Yeah, you should see my thumbnails. Uh, nothing wrong with my profile picture. What is my profile picture? <laughs> it's a Kerbal, it's okay. Uh, who are you anyway? Good question. What did she say? Let's just keep it simple. Oh god. Upgrading existing parts. That has something to do with my profile picture? You mentioned it, but didn't go into detail. Yeah, okay. She's going to pimp our parts. Nylon sheets. Nylon wrapped parts. Sounds nice, actually. Hopefully they're not too much heavier. Decrease the drag. Well, now we're talking. Yeah, wood definitely would have more drag. Would have. Anyway. Uh, yes, please wrap it. Always say please. Doll. Where where are we? In the 40s? <laughs> These nylon sheets are expensive. I shouldn't be surprised. Every wrap. So, which ones are you wrapping? I don't even know what's going on. Shouldn't I pick a part for them to wrap? For it to be each wrap? I mean, so it's gonna be a random part? I, I have very specific parts I want to wrap to reduce drag. The nose cones... And the nose cones. <laughs> Just the nose cones. That's all I want. Um, yeah. Okay, so, uh, let's get the one that had one staging, and then... No, that wasn't done really wonderfully. The, it's still obsessed with using one engine, though. Which is annoying. Uh, yeah, no, let's get the one that we did before. I can see how to make this work. Okay, so this had one staging. We don't need the huge turbo pump. That was overkill. We just need to reach 10 kilometers. We need two sets of whatever is going on here. And yeah, I, I don't think we're gonna need this huge engine, the large bell engine. That was a test. I want to tuck everything into this fin part for convenience. And then we can double up this structure here, you see. You'd normally want to stage off the big tank, not the small ones, but let's not talk about that. Okay, there we go. A little bit too tight. Okay, so big fuel tank gets goes through this gate first. These tanks go through the couplers. Go through well, this will have to go through here. Maybe I'm doing this wrong, though. I don't know if they actually flow evenly through like that. Okay, so then this stage goes through this gate. And then that's all hooked up same way. And then it all goes through the pump and into the engine. Okay. And now we just have to time it. This was triggered after two seconds, so let's trigger this after four seconds. And same with the decouplers. Okay, well, uh, maybe it'll work. <laughs> what can I say? Use the decoupler, well, that's all has to happen in flight, so let's see. Let us see. Go. Well, it's off the ground. Oh, that's not... 
Hmm. Those did not happen when I thought they would. We'll reach the... ...proper altitude, but I think they got lost from structural... ...issues? I'm not sure. Somebody had said in the... Let me just go back to design. In the settings to change a setting in order to help out the performance. Let me just check on that. Depth of field. So turn off depth of field and apparently it fixes the lag in the launch view. Uh, Games Deep said. So okay, we'll try that because I don't want lag. Now, I felt like things did not happen at the right time. That's four seconds, four seconds, two seconds, two seconds. But they definitely like... Oh, but the piping is going weird here. Whoops. That's not right. I don't think that's was the cause of the problem, but this is definitely all gone. I mean, see, I mean, I had it right. I showed you guys. I had it right, but then it all went wrong. The rest looks okay. I don't know. That may have been an issue. It may not have been an issue. Maybe the structure here is just too weak. I think we can do with having more structure. Let's go with those NSR cylinders to reinforce. Let's go with those. I don't know if I can remove the lampshades after the fact. Because we're getting high enough. Let's see. I don't know, maybe that'll help. Maybe we should aerodynamically protect the decouplers as well. I mean, this is unlikely to be the issue, but while we're here. Um, what about those big wood fins that I was enthusiastic about? Now that might bring up our center of lift, if that's really an issue. Let's see. Center of lift is there, and it's glow. It actually uh, glows sort of orange, so that's probably a bad thing. So yeah, maybe it is an issue. Let's avoid those. See now it's not glowing. Um, we'll just use nose cones. Uh, okay, it's a theory. Well, let's see how it works. And it's still pushing my CPU a bit. Um, I heard two decouplings, but apparently they weren't empty, maybe? It can certainly get to the right altitude. It's just a matter of... They're not... Uh, we, we should wait a little bit before decoupling them, maybe. I don't think the depth of field thing was a problem. Uh, it's because... I mean, my GPU isn't having any problems. And that's probably all GPU stuff. The CPU is the one that's having problems. Anyway, uh, but that's fine. We don't need a depth of field either. Well, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what's gone wrong. Okay, so the thing is, we changed engines and pumps. The original decoupling was based on the pumps, the old pump, which had like 17 kilograms per second. We've got only 8 kilograms per second. So we got 8 kilograms per second, which divided by 2 is 4. And so it's basically 7 kilograms per second. And we've got 17. So we need to wait longer. 17 divided by 7 is 2.47. So basically we need to wait 2.6 seconds to be safe. I don't know if decimals work in these things, but we'll go with it. I don't like not having thrust, so... That's why I want to do decimals. Okay, let's try that now. Okay, launch. And go to the camera. Okay, those went off. Still doesn't say decouple empty fuel tank. Oh, we'll wait longer. I wish I could see the fuel tanks separately. Maybe I'm calculating wrong. I mean, we can push it until we actually do lose thrust in the engine. 
for a little bit. It still doesn't read it as an empty fuel tank, and it still seems to be going continuously, so that's not right. Four seconds. At some point, it's gonna run out of fuel. <laughs> okay, there, it stopped the, the engine. It goes, continues, off. Okay, perfect. I mean, not perfect perfect, but good enough. We'll do the thing. It's been a while since I've done a high altitude one with all the hovering going on. Okay, and... 87 point something. It's gotta be 87.5? Two minute hang time? Yes, 87.5. Alright, I'll just finish it there. Okay, we got an epic tag. Aurora and Blackbird. We haven't used those recently. Bloated. Five fuel tanks. Yeah. And three different time sensors. And split. Okay. Alright. Wow, we've got a lot of people trying to talk to us. Let's see. This person is done. Wrapped body. It's fine. I'll take it. Collect them all eventually. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. Newly wrapped parts. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. In fact, that'd be better than doing it randomly. Let's see. Newly wrapped parts. Wrap nose. Yes. <laughs> no brainer. That'll do. The wrapped fins I don't know about. Gas bottle frame, huh? Spring frame. These are fancy now, huh? Some interesting things hanging out down there. They do continue to add parts to this, it seems. Scrap that. Sure. Elevate team scrap. Seen as amateurs too often. Uh, well, we are. Well, especially since I'm not getting paid. Professional means getting paid, yeah. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm not a liar. Exclusive. Well, you have to pay me. See, somebody has to pay me. No, I like the I actually like the wood parts. I'll I'll pass on making a determination on that until the next horrible thing she does to me. I mean it's possible that we'll never get any more parts from her because she wants us to buy all of them, right? I I don't know if there's any further challenge from her. But uh, we'll, yeah, I'm, Fashion Geeks is done wrapping all the parts, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. So it might be good to continue with Scrap Dad, but anyway, but he's being weird. Uh, I, I don't think uh, Rosewood was that much of a power monger as Scrap Dad is. Oh well. Your uh, real asset to the Rebels. Aww, shucks. Uh, well, I, I wanted to get to orbit. I was gonna do that. Oh, a new engine. A cluster- oh god, this is like... This is totally Soyuz now. Except without the Verniers. Okay. I don't even get to say thank you? <laughs> okay. You'll see about the efficiency of that one. Scrap that I don't want to talk to. Oh, uh, there's, a cap uh, there's a challenge here. Um... The only way to make sure you're fully ready for the final task. Uh, yeah, I'm used to it. Three different engines. Now, now, now you're speaking my language. Finally. Drop the used engines. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. 
Yes, I love it. <laughs> I love staging. Okay. All right. Wanna be NASA? Sure. We'll set that as our first goal, but our intention is to use the same rocket for launching to orbit. And I'm expecting that they're eventually going to launch a satellite, so I think I'm going to put that heavy retro nose cone, the 11 kilogram one, as our simulation satellite, and then we'll put a lighter nose cone like the wood one, uh, or this one, wrapped one, which is 4.2 kilograms. Hmm, maybe we should just start off with that though. Yeah, it's not the same form factor. How good is its airflow? 0.2. That one was 0.2 already. I think I've been duped. It's not any better than that. And it's heavier. I was told it would have less drag. Instead, it has the same drag and it's heavier. This has no drag. Forget it. They're using this one. What happened to the body part that we had gotten? Or maybe I didn't download it, that's why. Mm. Click to download, there we go. Let's see its relative benefits. Five kilograms. I mean, if you take a look at, well, let's see what it looks like. All right, so that's five kilograms. And taking a look at the NSR parts, this is nine kilograms. It's only a little bit longer. It's thinner. So it's a good question whether which one is better. Of course, the lampshades are the best, but um, perhaps we should lampshade it initially. But I don't know about the structural integrity of the lampshades now. As far as engines are concerned, let's just plan our engines. We might as well go full force. The cluster engine. Oh my god, maybe that's too big. Large bell engine. Compact engine. There's not too much of a gap between the compact engine and large bell engine in terms of size, though. I don't think we can resist using. Why don't we space exit? Have multiple engines on the first stage and one of those on the second stage. Do not have more than one engine running at the same time. Well, we can't do that. These two are. I mean, there's no real point to the bell engine. It's less efficient, and it's about the same mass as the compact engine. The large bell engine at least has, is more efficient, and the cluster engine way more efficient. Well, that will make it run out too soon. That's really big. But we've used this size fuel tank with this before. But maybe we don't need to in this case. We just need a slower fuel flow. I think fuel jerry can for this stage. And we'll use a light pump. And but we'll have to gate it too. Okay, we don't want snap, otherwise I can't tuck it in right. Ah uh, no, wrong snap. No. Oh you don't uh, come on, there's space there. Gosh. Little bit offset. Let's rotate this a little bit to adjust for that. Okay, that's good, but then this is a little bit too close. Okay. So that will be our upper stage. Got a little bit of drag on this side, so I'm going to move that over. And that does not look like it's going through the center mass, is it? Where is the center mass? Oh well, we've got floating parts, so let's just get rid of those for now. Okay, yeah, that's not pointed through the center mass, so... I'm gonna shift this over a little bit. There we go. Oh, we should put it on the gimbal, shouldn't we? I know you guys said that the uh, gimbals were supposed to be used on fins, or at least the auto swivel. We have to watch out for our complexity, though. This is getting very complicated. Maybe we should just stabilize it. 
Yeah, let's skip the gimbling here. We'll rely on the first stage to point it in the right direction. Or the second stage. We might have to reduce complexity by uh, getting rid of the pump, maybe. This will be triggered by a key. Three. I continue with the lampshade because definitely on the upper stage we want the least amount of dry mass. I know we've got the nose cone. See, this fit the, fits the bell nozzle perfectly. It's like it was meant to be. But really we want to shift it down just a little bit because we need to attach the decoupler. I don't really like the way the decoupler is. I'd like the old ring decouplers if possible, but oh well. Nose cones offset. <laughs> it's it's weird. It's very weird, but we'll have some more wood. This will be stage wood, and we'll have a nice big tank and probably PVC pipes, though. Okay, and then this is getting a bit tall, though. Yep, it's getting a bit tall. Well, first of all, this should actually be all the way up here. This stage will need a gimbal for the engine. This wood part shouldn't be too bad. In fact, uh, I think it'll save us that PVC pipe there. And then we'll have the gimbal, and then have all the pump stuff on the gimbaled side. And that gate will be triggered by two. For stage two. And we'll try and lay out this bit as horizontally as possible. So we'll once again use that wood part. So yeah, I'm not using the swivels properly. I'm not using them for fins, but I will use them for the engines as I'm used to. We'll use this pot pump for this one. We'll use the large bell engine. Uh, it's sort of too big for what I want, really. And we need to point through that center mass. Maybe we'll just use another compact engine. The really fancy option is just to have this pointed at the center of mass in such a way that it automatically produces the right turn, but you'd have to do a lot of testing in this for that. You know, and that, but that would negate the need for a gimbal if you could test that enough. Okay, that leaves us with 99 complexity, which... Well, that's a 70 complexity engine. But, yeah, we, we are too complex right now. Car fuel tank is actually really efficient on the complexity bit. Truck fuel tank is only 31, so that's not too bad. How much is this whole stage? Um, let's start with that. Yeah. That's too much now. Let's get rid of these nose cones. Those aren't going to be too much complexity, though. Pumps are really high complexity. The industrial pump is really, really high. If we just don't pump this engine, which it should have enough time to not require a pump, then that will save us some. I assume that the lampshade is not too... No, it's just only one complexity, so that's okay. Let's just uh, connect it like that. So, we're getting closer here. Perhaps we should only turbo pump or pump the first stage. We could have a less complicated engine up here. Twin jet. We're not even using oxidizer right now. I'm really a fan of the converted jet engine. I don't think that'll save us enough. And it's weird using something called a converted jet engine on an upper stage. But, you know, you play by the rules that they give you. Now that leaves us 70. Oh no, it's still 64 only. So we can't put the cluster engine yet. 
we can lose one PVC pipe. We probably need fins down here too, though. Maybe we should just go with the large bell engine and call it a day. Okay, well... How much complexity is this part? Two. I was afraid of that. Because the retro part is going to be much... It's five. Well, I think we can ma manage it. It'll give us the fins we need. And some extra space, maybe. Center of lift is an issue right now. So this structure is not good enough. We've got a very tall rocket. How are those wood fins on the complexity? Two. Well, we can put them on. That'll be good. Now. Now it's okay, it says. Okay, so we've got a pump there. We could probably shift these down a bit. This gimbal will be left right. That's a decoupler. This gimbal will be up down. Because we sure don't want to do those at the same time. We want very, very slow gimbling. We're gonna be aerodynamically stable at the start anyway. Maybe a little bit faster on the bottom one. And we're just under the complexity limit with a really, really, really tall, precarious rocket. Okay, and we've got the triggers. Uh, we actually don't need a gate on the first one. So that could have saved us some. Okay, can it even get off the ground? I don't know. Let's see. That's tall. Okay. Um, I, I want... I want angle. Launch. That's already sort of sideways. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I think we need more stability. I can't see a darn thing. It's actually not bad. Okay. Oh, that did not stage the way I want. Right, I need to think about how the decoupler stage. This is going the wrong way, and I, I, I don't have any... Whoa. Okay, this is a problem. It didn't uh, get that I decoupled an engine, too. Which side are we on board? This is, this is not the one with the engine. It's gonna be a problem if it doesn't go with the one with the engine. Okay, a lot of bad things happen there. Okay, decouplings cannot be timed. <laughs> that would be a problem. Uh, uh, trigger of one. No, we want it to trigger with two, which is when the second stage activates, right? Yeah. So that decoupling will be for stage two. This decoupling for stage three. Okay. So it won't all go apart, but it might all go apart anyway because of stress because we're using lampshades, so that's a problem. Uh, we've got a little bit of extra room to work with. Anyway, getting off the ground is good. Okay. I can control it. This is actually... Oh, it all broke apart. Okay. So, so we, we can't use lampshades. <laughs> okay, let's see what the most efficient replacement structure would be. We are more worried about complexity than any, uh, like, weight or anything. Two complexity. Well, I mean, I think that's a good drop-in replacement for the lampshades, actually. Complexity-wise. I need to get to that lampshade. There's a lampshade there. We might be turning over a little bit fast. So... Let's move this over. I think it's on this side a little bit. So we replace those lampshades. There's a lampshade here. Let's get rid of that. 67 strength, I guess we'll call that. That's strength. And this is 300 strength. So that's nice for the whole not breaking apart thing. 
How strong is the wood with the wrap on it? 73, only a little bit better. But we'll try the wood wrap nose first here and see how bad it is. How bad was the lampshade? Two. Okay, well, it's a significant improvement over the lampshade. Let's try this. We just need to survive until we can decouple. Okay, stage two. We have a good stage two. Um, we have control over stage two. I should check on our, um, whatchamacallit, vertical speed, actually. Ah, I thought as much. We're a little bit underpowered on this. We could do with a pump here. It's too heavy a tank. We should replace it with one of those spherical tanks. Anyway, we'll do we'll do what we need to do, I think. I'll try and get it going vertically here. I don't know if it has enough. This is a huge angle of attack, and this would not be good for a real rocket at this altitude. I'm basically hovering, but it's fine. We just need to fulfill this contract. Okay, Sage 3. Well, this is obviously not in the right place, but we fulfilled the requirements, so that's the important thing. I think they probably wanted to have stage 3 go, like, when we were past 15 kilometers, but they didn't specify that. Okay, now, this has 1G of acceleration, that's nice. No control, though. And not much duration. Yeah, that was pretty quick. Okay, this isn't going to get to orbit. <laughs> yeah, that, that heavy nose cone on top is a little bit of a drag. And... Yeah, it didn't show us. It's uh, We heard the sound, but we didn't see it. Alright, but we fulfilled the contract, so we should upload it. Marathon, staged... Alright, wannabe NASA challenge. Okay. Rocket striptease. Oh no. Okay, and Rosewood wants to talk again. Yes, she's a wonderful person. Told you about... Uh, I didn't notice any efficiency, really. But I didn't see that number. What do you have in mind? Let's uh, let's see what challenge we have here. Speed video. I can do that. What do you think is a high speed anyway? Yes. Well, okay, somebody's paying me. So that that changes everything. Scrap that. I didn't hear any promise of payment, Mr. Professional. Launch that satellite. Uh, you can consider it launched already, darn it. Okay, final pieces. Can you make them lighter? And less complex? Doctorate. Yeah, he doesn't. Well, whatever. You can't tell. Profile pics. Nobel Price territory. Wait, how old are you? Whatever. Uh, go back to high school. <laughs> These are not parts that I needed. Uh, sorry to your debt. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Building rockets as usual? Uh, I suppose it is. I don't know where this is going. Oh, whatever. I have no idea I was doing that. Definitely did not. Roll with it. Right. Can you make them less draggy? Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Uh, I'll try. Let's see what the challenge is. Total mass of 500 kilograms and reach 50 kilometers with total mass of 50 grams. Oh, that's what she was talking about, the staging. Well, that'll give us extra complexity. The speed test will only give us three. The problem is our really heavy nose cone. What if we just replaced that? But 2.1 kilograms is also pretty heavy. Anyway, that is not really relevant to that challenge. We'd have to get to pretty heavy level. Right now, we're only we're less than 500 on the ground. This needed a pump, and we do have the complexity necessary for a pump, so we'll add a pump. Can we get that pipe through? Okay, yes. And it's got some drag on it. We'll put an extra nose cone. That. Who knows whether that's center or not. You might want a different engine there. It, it, it expended the fuel really quickly. This one we could probably dump the turbo pump if we use the spherical tanks that have more feed ability. <laughs> fuel flow rate. But yeah, I want to try this first. So we are officially beginning our quest for orbit. Here we go. Oh, that's really fast with that turbo pump. Oh, yeah, we're too low in the atmosphere like that. I thought this one fed really fast last time, but hey, it was just my impression because we were plunging into the ground or something. Hmm. Maybe the jets don't work very high up without oxidizers. So, yeah, okay, okay, so yes, they run out of oxygen. So, the rocket engines don't need oxidizer, but the jet engines do. Well, but they benefit, the rocket engines benefit from oxidizer. It's so, so weird, but okay. All right. All right. We might also need a gimbal on that stage. Maybe for the orbital rocket, we should just use two stages because of the complexity thing. Three stages, but it, I should really calculate what the actual ISP of these things is. But we don't need three stages because that wasn't required. So it might be more efficient not to have that in terms of the complexity number. But okay, I think uh, we know the road that we're on here. And next time we'll try and do uh, this challenge first. And then we'll continue to try and prove ourselves. We, we might get more challenges that add more complexity. So. But yes, first we'll have an ultra heavy thing and that will probably involve the first use of our biggest engine here, the cluster engine. So, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.